Okay, here's a quick little video for the Pioneer DJ RB DMX1. So this is a DMX interface uh, that goes into record box and lets you control lights. So I'm hoping to add this to my light show as well. So I've got those moving heads, I've got some par cans, and I've got the gig bar. Um, now I've heard that the gig bar support isn't very good, um, but hopefully they'll fix that soon and then I can use it. I've got some ideas for some interesting light shows. So we're going to unbox this and then I'm going to plug it in and have a look, see if I can get it to work with my moving heads or one of my par lights and uh, see what we can do in time with music. So opening it up, uh, let's have a look inside. Oh, hello. I have to blur that out. But we've got a record box DJ license uh, and probably a warranty card in there. Yep, yeah, warranty and support tickets. So that's great. Okay, in here, this must be a USB cable. It's just uh... okay. Yep, it's a sealed bag. So I'm guessing. Yeah, that's USB. I'm looking through the camera, so I can't tell. Yeah, that's the USB cable. And then in here is the RB DMX1 itself. Okay, let me just check. Nothing else in there. Nope, the box is empty. Okay, so RB DMX1. It's quite quite weighty actually. It it feels sturdy. There's some kind of thing on the back. I don't want to show that in case it's something that you can use to steal my record box license. Right. Oh, there we go. So it's a uh, sturdy metal construction. So that's going to last quite well, I think. Let's just put my finger on the back there. So four feet on the back. Let's just get that in focus, please. Hello, focus. Thank you. So there's some uh, feet on the bottom there. Manufactured in April 2018. So this is very new. And yeah, just a USB port on one side and a DMX output on the other. Hmm. It's quite weighty. I'm wondering whether that's because of all the aluminium in there or if there's some super cool stuff inside. I really want to open this up and tear it down, I think. But I'm not sure whether I should do that or not. Anyway, okay, we're going to plug this into... Oi. Focus. We're going to plug this into uh, record box and uh, see how it goes with the lights. Stop doing that, you stupid phone. Focus on there. Thank you. Right. To the computer. Okie dokie, so a follow up on the RB DMX1, which is down there. Uh, you can't see it, it's not really focusing, it's there underneath loads of cables because um, I have a very cramped workspace when I'm practicing. But you can see that it's controlling four par cans. Um, these are just like the general kind of um, macros that come with it. It's quite nice actually, it works fairly well. Um, you can see here underneath all the uh, gubbins where it's got the uh, the track and the name and everything you've got these scenes here for lights and you can see it's going away to the music quite nicely actually now obviously I want to program my own stuff in at some point um, so that's what I'm going to be doing uh, for certain songs but yeah I'm quite pleased with that they work well with the pars I've requested that these moving heads get added into uh, the database. I got an email today to say that they're going to add those in, so that's going to be good. The only thing I'm worried about is the gig bar. Apparently FX lights don't work very well, apart from the, the par cans on the gig bar will be fine, but this, uh, yeah, is a problem, <laughs> I think, because the, the gig bar's got strobes, it's got derbies, and it's got a laser, and I want to use all of those in my uh, sequences. But it should be an upgrade for the light show, which should be nice. Oh. We're out to a part where they don't use par cans. Oh, there we go. Well, that was nice. Okay, anyway, so... <laughs> um, yeah, support for the RBDMX1 is a little bit low on the ground at the moment. Um, but with a new product, I'm sure that's going to get better over time. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy with that, and I think it's going to be perfect. Uh, but once again, uh, I've only used it in my um, practice room. Um, and I'll let you know exactly how well it does at a proper gig. I'll probably end up having the gig bar on sound to light um, and then we'll uh, go from there. But yeah, so far so good. It's brilliant. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to see more videos. Hit the notification icon to get a notification. And I do talk quickly through the end of these videos, don't I? Mm. All right. But anyway, thanks very much for watching. Until the next time, until the next video, catch you later. Bye-bye.